Lizzo. Please cancel Lizzo. Uh. Hello everyone, welcome back to the CCU and today the Tuesday ghost got canceled. <laughs> I mean, just because you watched Game of Thrones doesn't mean Melisandre is going to, you know, actually... You, you, do you know what I'm saying? I was defiled. Okay, whatever. Anyway, make sure to check out the merch, guys. The Tuesday Ghost, I know we just got canceled, but I mean, this is my brand, not the Tuesday Ghost. It's super comfy. It looks sexy in it. Bam! You sexy, baby! So for the past couple months, I've sort of had this burnt out, just like uninspired feeling, and I've kept this well documented on the podcast, the BQWA podcast. For people, I don't know. Yeah, I, I and the last two videos and this is I, I swear I'm gonna stop talking about it This is gonna wrap it all up. I'll find something else to watch about next week But Donald Glover if you don't know him He was in community at Childish Gambino Atlanta all that shit fuck whatever He came out with some tweets that you know sparked the old water cooler You know your mom probably saw it and I think it relates to some of the sentiments that I've been trying to convey in these videos He says saw people on here having a discussion about how tired they were of reviewing boring stuff TV and film we're getting boring stuff and not even experimental mistakes because people are afraid of getting canceled so they feel like they can only experiment with aesthetic also because some of them know they're not good I feel like this just like relates perfectly at least to the entertainment side of things where I just feel like things have are just uninspired and the things that have been inspired came out a few years ago and nothing today really anything at all new or exciting or inspired and it might be because of covid but i feel like the past 2020 2019 and now have been just like this fucking gobbledygook of blah and i know i bitched about it so i'm not gonna spend too much on that and i know i bitched about this plane but i just don't know what to do but talk about it with you guys i mean i really love enjoying and making all of this stuff tv and film and music and all of that jazz I, I love it so much and i care for it so deeply and i love talking about it it's just disheartening when you see a culture uh, a space a place that you love just kind of just like stagnant or it's just boring and uninspired and of course a lot of this has to do with what's going on in the mainstream right now for example Marvel isn't new it's boring and in, when it was new it was exciting up until the first Avengers film and then after that we developed Stockholm syndrome because you know Thanos's cock was too big I don't know and of course there's bits and pieces of exciting stuff out there I think the boys is a great show I think succession is a great show the boys subverts all of the boring ass and pandering expectations of a fucking Marvel or superhero movie. Also, Chase Crawford, a babe. I mean, he's a hottie. For those who don't know and need to get in on the know, Chase Crawford plays the deep in the boys. That's what I'm fucking talking about. I mean, but you know, like any sensible critique or anything that we have to say that involves the word cancel, we get jabronis and their Beatles and their F-150s coming at you. What? Canceled? Have you seen these cars? I got them on Twitter! Cancel culture is at it again. Cancel culture is at it again, folks. Cuties 2 is back in business. It's just so wrong what they're doing. The culture just- Lizzo. Please cancel Lizzo. Uh. Yeah, people are interpreted it like that, like he was commenting on cancel culture. And you know what? I can understand that perspective. I can somewhat get on board with the whole sentiment. I think all of it is fucking stupid. People will go there because their jabroni brains just can't comprehend. Captain Marvel is a but a lot of feminist film. I mean, why do you think everything is a reboot or a remake? It, it's all bullshit. I don't think we're able to make risks because we can't even reflect or make any sense of what's going on in the current day. So, I mean, that's why I'm so frustrated with what's happening right now. Nothing is new or refreshing. It's rehash after rehash after rehash, remake after remake. I mean, why do you think everything is so nostalgia focused? The only thing that is reflecting on the current day is SNL. Elon Musk is Wario. Pete Davis Davidson is rapping about NFTs in a really corny way, which are just Eminem remixes from songs 20 years ago, and Alec Baldwin did a four-year run of doing a Trump impression that wasn't 
funny because Trump already does a better impression of himself. We're so on the nose and ironic and self-conscious to a point where we can't make or comment on anything without people sparring on Twitter. And you know what I hate the most is when people go on to Twitter or any other discourse and they try to act like, oh, they're bringing in this different perspective. They're playing God and like they're better than everybody else. And they don't know what to do with their own creativity or what they're even talking about. So they bitch about it on the internet like everybody else and don't take any risks or any different perspectives on how they do it. Oh, wait, that's, that's what I'm fucking... Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys putting up with my bullshit and my, you know, just like unfocused takes on shit. I really do appreciate it. And don't worry, we're going to get there soon. A thousand subs, a hundred thousand, a million. We're getting there. We're getting there soon. It's going to happen. It, it is happening at the moment. Don't worry. So if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. And this week's comment of the week comes from Allison Poop. She says, hashtag... Connor fat no more guys you heard it here first the movement hashtag Connor fat no more Allison poop thank you I appreciate you this week's album of the week is Joji's nectar and yeah I, I love you all and goodbye this will be a funny one <laughs>